Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas Eve. Right now, I'm on my way to church. Um, I'll come back. I might be doing like some Christmas activities or watching Christmas movies. So I'll see right, you then. So I'm back from church. I'm going to plug up my tree because I haven't really been plugging up my tree. Finally. Okay, so I think the rest of the day, I am going to, let's see. I know we're going to have some like snacks, watch movies. I think we might be doing the gingerbread house. Not quite sure yet, but just do some fun holiday Piggy. stuff. Who wants a Christmas cookie? Who wants a Christmas cookie? Do you want a Christmas cookie? Christmas cookie. Your yeah, Christmas cookie. You are so cute. You are so cute. That was a big piece. It's almost time to eat. So this is what we have here. I cannot wait to eat these wings. They're so good. Cheese cracker and meat platter. That looks delicious. Yummy. That looks really delicious. And then also we have some cakes from Nothing But Cake. I got these last year. This one's red velvet. I like that it has like the little rain, the reindeer decor over here, as you can see. So this is red velvet and this is the chocolate one. Merry Christmas, baby. Open your gifts. Open your gifts, Barley. What do you have? Ah! What do you get? What you get for Christmas? Ah! You don't know. Let's see. What is this? Oh, you got it? Oh, you got it? Don't get caught. Don't get caught, Barley. You got it? <laughs> Dig, Barley. Have the dig. You got it? You almost got it, Barley. Here. There you go. You got it? Yeah, you got it, Barley. Good job. You want to play with that toy? What about this one? Want to play with this one? Come in here, Barley. You got your Christmas? Is that a Christmas tree, Barley? Where are you going? We got more. Happy New Year, everyone. I know it's been a while since I filmed. I actually start not feeling well on Christmas morning, day. Um, but right now, I just don't feel like being on camera. But I do feel a lot better. So I wanted to get on here and talk about my top five products of 2021. Start off with a foundation. So the foundation I'm going to talk about is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear this can definitely be built up to full coverage it's really lightweight i can actually add a few layers of this foundation it doesn't and it doesn't feel heavy and cakey so i really enjoyed this foundation this is definitely something if i wanted to use in the summertime a full coverage foundation it would be this one because it doesn't feel heavy for 60. the second product that i want to talk about um, something I've been really enjoying this year. I cannot not have this product in my collection. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is a good powder if you deal with like fine lines. If you don't want your foundation to look cakey and you want it to look flawless. When I'm taking pictures or going somewhere special, I always use this specific powder. And it's definitely it's just one of my favorites. Another Laura Mercier product. It is the Matte Radiance baked powder and bronze for this definitely reminds me of the hourglass bronzer open this up i also picked up another one it has like a hint of a rosy shade in it but i like that one as well this is so good this is definitely like buildable it's really flawless on the skin and it's just one of my favorite bronzers and honestly i can definitely see myself always just picking this bronzer up but i try to use other things on my collection but this is definitely one of my favorite bronzers in 2021 and i got this at tj maxx you can always find these at tj maxx number four which is the wayne goss lip gloss what shade is this, this is petunia 
Petunia. Yes, Petunia. I love this. My lips have been dry because I probably don't drink enough water. It just glides on my lips. My lips doesn't feel dry. It doesn't look extremely dry. This just makes such a difference and I love this shade. It's perfect for every day. Just pop on your lips and it doesn't matter what type of eye look you have going on this just it still works for me so this has definitely been my favorite lip gloss i always keep it in my purse and this is something i would repurchase in 2021 my, one of my favorites is the be perfect carnival 3 love tahiti palette this i know in the springtime i cannot put this palette down and it's truly beautiful i really love the mattes in here this performs well i love like the metallics and shimmers some of them are like toppers but i'm the type of person that do not mind using toppers this was definitely one of my favorite palettes in 2021 that i had to tell myself no more put it down try something else so this is such a good palette it's really beautiful all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was such a big jump. I really didn't feel like being on camera. I'm starting to feel a lot better. So hopefully I'll be able to film some other content. We will see. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy new year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.